Hey, this is Byron Brown, the anti-lawyer lawyer, and I'm going to provide my analysis of some Amber Heard testimony in her trial with Johnny Depp. If you remember, Johnny Depp sued Amber Heard for defamation over an op-ed she wrote in the Washington Post. Wait till the end of the video, and I'm going to tell you why Johnny Depp's legal team missed a giant opportunity to make Amber Heard look even like a larger liar than she is. So the line of question we're going to get into is a statement that Amber Heard made shortly after her divorce from Johnny Depp, wherein she indicated that she was going to take that $7 million that she got from the divorce and split it equally between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Well, that's awesome. If it's true, it's awesome. Those are two organizations that could definitely use the money, and it makes Amber Heard look very credible, something that she's probably planning on doing the whole time. But this line of questioning from Johnny Depp's lawyer, and it's his female lawyer, and I like that, is especially in a trial sur surrounded with the topic of domestic violence, I think it's better to have a female lawyer cross-examine Amber Heard, especially because the lawyer's kind of got to get into Amber Heard's kitchen. And if a male lawyer does that, it can come across overly aggressive and make Amber Heard look like the victim, which would definitely help Amber Heard's um, position and not Johnny Depp's position. To I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote. That's, right? that's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. Okay. Very deliberate with her words, right? She agrees that she's, she agreed with what Johnny Depp's lawyer said about making that $7 million donation to the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. And she's very, she looks at the jury, she looks at the lawyer, she looks at the jury, she looks at the lawyer. Very credible stuff if she's telling the truth. But then at the end, remember Johnny Depp's lawyer sleeks it in there and it's a really good one. It's like, because you wanted nothing. And Amber Heard says, yes, that's true. But we know that's not true because she said in other parts of the trial, and this is where Johnny Depp's legal team should have brought it up. You can get dailies, which are daily transcripts from every part of the trial and he, she could have used that testimony that Amber Heard has given at prior parts of the trial as it relates to audio recordings made of Amber Heard where Amber Heard clearly has a financial motive with separating from Johnny Depp. They talk about prenups, they talk about postnups, she talks about having nothing if she's divorced from Johnny Depp so the money is a large factor and I think Johnny Depp's legal team could have dug into it a little bit more, but they have a plan. So let's see how that plan folds out. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Okay. Now, very specific question. It's a setup question. I call these an F you question because it really doesn't matter how Amber Heard was going to answer that question. Johnny Depp's lawyer knew more likely than not that she was going to disagree with it. So she's setting her up. And Johnny Depp's lawyer was very specific with her words, right? But you have not donated the money. And she says, that's incorrect. Okay, well, then listen, if there's a discrepancy in language or words used, it's on Amber Heard to correct that. Because I don't know about you, but when I think about someone saying they were going to donate money, it means they were going to donate it. They were going to give it to that specific organization. So let's see how it continues. Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the settlement, Heard, $7 that, million to question. charity, and I, Ms. I Heard, intend to Ms. fulfill Heard, those obligations. Ms. Heard. Okay, again, right? Now we see where the rubber hits the road. She's talking over Johnny Depp's lawyer. Johnny Depp's lawyer is trying to interrupt her. This is a pivotal moment because as if you're a juror and you're sitting there, you're like, okay, well, what's going on? Is the lawyer right? Is Amber Heard right? If there's a distinction to be made at this point, which we're about to hear the difference, the distinction between pledge and donation, at least in Amber Heard's mind, I think it had to be a lot clearer in favor of Amber Heard. I don't believe this distinction that Amber Heard is going to make makes a difference. I think it hurts her. It's a weak attempt by her legal team to try to dance around her making the statement and not making the donation. Again, she specifically says that is not true. And then she goes on to say, I plan on fulfilling that obligation. Okay, well, what's that mean? How do you plan on fulfilling? If I donated my used clothes to charity, what do you think? You think that I gave my clothes to charity. So 
If you're agreeing that you've donated money, then you've donated it, meaning it's happened. It's in the past, but not if you're Amber Heard, not if you're Tricky Ricky Amber Heard. Let's see how it plays out. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. Come on, man. We serious here? I use pledge and donation synonymously. That's garbage, man. And what Johnny Depp's lawyer should have done right then and there is say, hey, Mrs. Hurd, do you agree that Webster's Dictionary sets the ground as the basis for defining words in the English language? It's an FU question, right? Amber Heard has to say yes. And then what Johnny Depp's lawyer could have said was said, okay, well, Webster's Dictionary defines pledge as, open quotes, a promise or agreement, end quote. Then you ask Amber Heard, would you agree with that? Amber Heard would say yes. If she said no, she looks horrible. And then goes on to say, and donation would be the making of a gift. Would you agree? And Amber Heard again would have to say yes. So pledge is a promise, donation is an actual gift. That's a huge distinction. And right then and there, what Johnny Depp's lawyer could have gone into and then said, and Mrs. Heard, isn't it correct? You had no intent of donating the money to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. What you really wanted to do, Amber Heard, was make a statement that made you look like Mother Teresa. Is that not true? Again, an FU question. It doesn't matter what Amber Heard says to that question. The jury sits there and they're like, yeah, this lady is crazy. And then you could have followed it up again and said, Mrs. Heard, what other statements or words have you made in this trial where you use them synonymously to mean something else? Again, you can call into question the entirety of her testimony because if she wants to play this words gamesmanship, then play it with her. Dig into it. Find out other examples within her testimony where you could sw swip swap her words around. Swip swap, yeah, that's a, that's a statement. And then you make those statements in closing because in closing you can argue, you can argue whatever has come into evidence and Amber Heard's testimony is evidence. And I think they could have just lit Amber Heard on fire right then and there and dig into her more and more and more because that stuff works. There's an old adage as a trial lawyer, if a jury likes someone, they'll find a way to rule in their favor. And if they dislike someone, they'll find a way to rule against them. And there's nothing that I've seen about Amber Heard that makes her likable, that makes her presentable, that makes her believable. And the fact that her and her legal team thought that this was the solution to script testimony and play gamesmanship in the words between pledge and donation, I think is horrible. And I think it's a telltale sign of everything that Amber Heard has said ever about Johnny Depp. And that's what I would tell the jury. If you don't believe her donating multiple millions of dollars to two very honorable charity associations such as the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, then how are you supposed to believe anything that comes out of her mouth about Johnny Depp striking her? You can't. Hey, I appreciate the support. Please leave your comments. If there's any videos you want me to do, please leave them below. I appreciate it. Please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe. Please have an awesome day. Peace.